So how far are you from the from the Mursa off ramp now? Uh, we passed the mountains like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so you're past Midi Midi then, so... Or you're yeah. at Midi Midi now. Now, where are you? Uh, but we just pulled up. Um, there's like, I can see police lights up in the... Um, up the front there. Yep. Like, I should know, bro. I come to the Nats here all the time when I was younger. <laughs> it's gonna say, bro. <laughs> My spot's down there. The track's down there. Yeah, go see the track. Go, go see the track down there, bro. Left a couple of marks on that wall. I'm about to drive up on the grass and go down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, we're no getting arrested when we don't have to yet, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, we're we're at the mobile. We're at the we're parked on the road waiting for you guys to turn up. We're gonna as soon as you arrive, we're going straight. We're going straight through to PP. Get out of here. Oh yeah, sweet. Um, yeah. I'll give you a call and uh, hopefully we can uh, meet up. Yeah, bro. Um, no, nah, I'll see yeah, you. At, I'll yeah. see you at the BP if I don't see you um, when you come in. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sweet, brother. Sweet. Ladies, ladies. Yeah, bro. Right, a little bit of a um, little bit of an update from in the equally at the moment. As you can see, it was being held up at the looks like the mini mini stop. What happens from here on out? We're right on the motorway. Awesome southern motorway that has been used in there. So, if you heard one of our colleagues up here, that's Wade. He is also doing some live streaming, some really cool stuff going on. Uh, we, from what we've heard, that they are actually currently stalled at a checkpoint just around the corner. Now, I do want to reiterate that the police have been very respectful at this time. We do know that just before there was quite a flurry of activity. We know that the cops, that there is quite a lot of them, uh, that they actually did quite a few quick actions. So just a quick one. Got the Usos Wade, got the Uso David. Hey, hey. And just to let you know, so if you have a look up there, you can actually see one of the checkpoints. So again, for those of you who have just uh, come into our live, we are at the checkpoint. This is the checkpoint that separates level three Auckland to level two Waikato. Right. If you have a look down here, you'll see down there that there is the checkpoint, there's a police checkpoint. We, myself and my colleagues, we came up here to a checkpoint up there and then we've come down to the Mercer stop and that's come down here. You've got establishment media just having a cruise around there as well. I'm sure they'll give a fair and balanced report. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually what it's about. We really just want to have the voice of our people heard because one of the biggest problems that we've had with established media is they don't print our, our voices. They print the voices of politicians, of their academics, of their own journalists, and that's a problem. Where are our people? Where are our people being heard? So thank you. We're just listening to some of the comments going on. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Honey, my after your mate, get them through, bro. Absolutely. Ah, uh, cheers. Thank you so much. 
All right, yes, uh, don't worry, the police already knew about this. How they knew, not sure. Mm, we do know that there was some communication within the group who were organizing this and the police, you know, they're smart. They, they do know how to find things out. And I, I think it is important that these, the police are not the baddies. All right, if they're, if they're the baddies, they're the baddies by the actions of a government that is not listening to its people and is removing freedom from its people. Absolutely right. The divide is a massive problem. Aaron, thank you so much. That's why we're here. Hey, we and I can tell you this: all of us, we got work, got work in the morning. But this is important to know. Absolutely right, Patricia. Thank you so much. So, yep. It is. It is midnight. We are waiting. We have been waiting for a while. Now, we know that the police are likely to try to stop them. And you probably can't see them, but there's a group of police who are just up from us here. And we have been advised that we are not to move much further than this. Again, they've been very respectful. Oh, thank you, Ray. We, we're sinners, but we do try. <laughs> Dave, oh, yep. Thank you so much for that. It's awesome. Lona, thank you so much. Awesome. So, Dave, can we take a few? No. All right. <laughs> oh, just give, we'll give you a shot. All right, so Dave actually was at one of the areas. He was actually up at the uh, autobahn, I believe, at the BP. So tell me, what did you see there? Ah, uh, yeah. So we uh, there was a quite a, a significant group, probably bigger than here up at uh, that we have at Mercer. It was up at the Bombay um, BP station um, with their traditional flags and uh, preparing to join the the hikoi. Um, so there was quite a buzz going on there. There weren't any police there, but I did hear that some of them were planning to try and uh, come down here to Mercer to to join up. But I don't know if they'll actually get across the border. All right. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. But, yeah, Great. Definitely was quite a big buzz up there. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> There's our wonderful colleagues uh, in the mainstream media. <laughs> <laughs> they will give a fear and balance report, no doubt. <laughs> it was a super spreader. A super spreader. There were three people there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just super <laughs> spreader. Super spreader. I'm just wondering, has have the protests actually been locations of interest? I don't think no, they've turned never. up. Oh, yeah. never. Well, the protests have been more compliant than the uh, yeah. than the vaccines. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lee, good to see you. Good to see you on batch. I yeah, hope the family's all good. Hope the kids are all right. <laughs> well done with your stuff, eh? Oh, Liao, Liao, our, she has been doing some mighty work. Thank you so much, Liao, for the work that you're doing. Uh, Liao's actually doing some real big work, and and you will hear about what she's been doing. I'm. So we're hearing a report now? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we're about to you now. Can you hear me? So we're yeah, about yeah. to you now. We're, we're in the same place, bro. I'm just like, uh, I don't know, 500 meters forward from where I was last time. But they're making us cut across the center and um, going down a side street. And apparently, like, they're trying to pull everyone into a paddock or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ugly, bro. Ugly. All right. Well, keep us updated, eh? Right, keep us updated, eh? So just to make sure if you heard that correctly, we've heard from one of the brave drivers in the Hikui that the police have turned them off and are moving them into a field. The, it looks possibly like they are going to be herded there and perhaps even corralled and stopped there at that point. So we're just waiting to see what's going on. Uh, Nelly, thank you very much for that. A paddock. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, bro. Jump back in when you're, yeah, when you're done. Look, you know, 
look after yourselves. We are still here. We, I'm still going to keep this on file just to see. We're going to keep this live so that we're going to be here for you. And if that means my arm's going to get sore, so be it. All good in the hood. I'm the same as Elliot. Oui, oui, oui. I'm, <laughs> here until, I'm here until the cows come in. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going anywhere. So if you like looking at empty road or my face, you're good. You might go for a walk. Uh, Should we talk to the place? No. Yeah, like I said, I didn't see what they think. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah go for it. I won't do the invasive thing yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll close here. So, look, we're just going to take you down here. Again, if you got to go, get some sleep, go get some sleep. All right. If, for those of you who are lucky enough to have still have the jobs, you know, good on you. Well done. For those of you guys who are under pressure, look, I can tell you that I've spoken to multiple people here tonight so far, and they are. They are scared. They are distraught. As I've mentioned before, parasuicidality is up with young people. We know that some of the most horrific, draconian, unprecedented measures have been going on. It looks like the boys are on the move. We're going to come in behind them and have a walk as well. Uh, so the officers over here don't have any information, but they just talk to their superiors up at the uh, face of the bridge. Right. Yeah. So that's David. He says that uh, the officers don't have enough information, so we are we're going to see if we can find anything out. There are democratic principles at hand here. It'll be quite interesting because I spoke to some of the protesters up at the um, at the Bombay site, and they said that they weren't going to be trying to breach the border. So they said if they can't get through, they won't get through. So it'll be interesting to see if that is the truth, or if they do try and break through. It'll be it'll be fun. Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> So uh, Ngawini, where are you? So we are at we are at Mercer. Mercer is the it is the border currently between Auckland and Waikato in terms of the levels. I think this is there. Yeah, gotcha. Are you expecting people to be able to check it? Oh, cool. Um, but if we get you guys just to wait at the end of the drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 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 We heard it here. We'll have a chat with the police officers when they come down. They're going to send their yeah, media liaison. So we'll wait for them to come down and we'll get Dave to ask the hard questions. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some good light here. So, Dave, I reckon if you can stay around here, we'll make sure that you're just in the light. I reckon. Hey, how are you going? Are you guys like the media or something? Independent, oh, yeah, yeah. Independent media. I was running around. Uh, it's or something or? Yeah, so um, uh, we're from the Daily Examiner. Yeah. Um, so we're just wondering, um, do you have any idea whether you're going to allow the oh, public sorry, to come we'll, we'll get some other guys. The boss is coming back yet. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, great. Oh, yeah. Thank Thank they're they're going to ask me. And can we just say that uh, actually you guys have been real respectful. Yeah, no, we, we've got connections into Melbourne and yeah. things are going pretty bad there, but here 
everything that we've seen so far has been quite respectful. So yeah. we appreciate that. Well, that's what it's all about, mate. I mean, mm. and it's a two-way process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, how people treat us is how we treat them, and vice versa. And, awesome. Um, awesome. Thankfully, it's the society we live in. And yeah. Even, so far, <laughs> so far, so far, so good. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Cheers. So, Dave, do you want to just give us a uh, sort of get you in the light there? Because at the moment you look like Antifa. <laughs> Dave is not Antifa. You come around here, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. It's the heavens have opened. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so can you tell us what has just happened just then? Oh, yes, yeah, so we've spoken to uh, some of the police officers here at the base, and they are about to send down uh, their media liaison. They just um, sort of checked us out to see who we were. So once they found out we're from independent media, they're quite happy to talk. And uh, it's been great because the police have been uh, very respectful tonight, even the Defence Force, uh, when we were coming through the border just up here. Um, they were very happy to let us through as independent media, um, even without any credentials, so that, that was quite good. Um, so, yeah, we're just waiting for the media liaison to come down now and uh, tell us what the situation is with the Hikoi uh, approaching the border. Mm. Here we go, everyone. Just waiting for them to send down their, their finest looking officer. All right, so yeah, thank you for your comment, Tracy. So Tracy has said, Tracy has uh, just asked us what's going on. So what's going on currently is, yes, so we're at Mercer right now. We are live at Mercer. We're being watched by a statue of one of the soldiers who did fight for our freedom as well, I might add. And what's going on is that there is a hikwe that is coming from Rotorua and is moving its way to Northland. It is a peaceful protest. It is a peaceful convoy of hundreds and I believe thousands, actually, of people coming up who are just wanting to protest peacefully against the expansion of power by this government. That's actually the main issue. The main issue actually is not the vaccinations themselves. The main issue is the sense of power that has been stripped away from normal people, the removal of democratic processes, the section level powers that keep on being given to from the government to themselves, and the fact that we've been on lockdown, we've got parasuicidality is up. That means that young people are engaging in self-harm, cutting, that is suicidal behaviour that ends up in hospital. We have a situation where the uh, establishment media have been given unprecedented levels of government funding. We find ourselves in an issue where even the voices of the local local members of council have been removed. And so this protest is more than just a simple hikwe. It's more than just a simple protest. It is, in a sense, an articulation of a growing resentment from the people of New Zealand towards a government which has seen itself give itself more powers than any other time in peacetime. And if I remember correctly, I don't even think wartime powers extended out to what the Labour Party has given themselves. And that's, that's not just a problem. That's an offence to New Zealand as New Zealand. We are a nation of laws of democracy. We are a nation that protected with blood and bone. We protected the tenets of freedom, freedom of speech, the ability to stand up, democratic process. And that's why we're here as well. So right now we're just waiting for someone who is a media liaison or who is an authority to be able to speak to us as to what's actually happening. We, The latest that we know is one of the guys who is in one of the lead vehicles that they have been turned off the road, that they've been prevented from moving forward and that they have been shuttled and herded into a paddock. That's all we know so far. We're just waiting on word to start find out what's going on a bit further. <laughs> Kia ora. Okay, it sounds like we're about to receive perhaps the commander. Mm 
Can you give us any information of what is happening on that side of the border? No, I can't give you. But the media, the media guys will talk that. Any comment will come from there. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much cool. for being commenting, guys. Have a good thank night. You. Thank you. Thank John. you. Yeah, guys. So it looks like there has been no comment that they the police will not give any comment as to what's happening. And that that actually is not that unexpected actually. Um, again, in a sense the police are the arm of the government. They're not sycophants so much, that's not quite accurate, but in a sense they do have to follow what they have to follow. Looks like we've got an update. When it comes through. Come on, brother. There we go. Yeah, so we're here at the um there's like a stop, so yeah. they're trying to like they just stopped everyone and put us in a paddock and they're trying to um I guess turn people around and shit. Yeah. Well fake news media, fake news media's here. I try to ask the cops what, what's going on, why are you hindering us and no comment. Yeah, they're not giving us any comment here either, brother. So has, has anyone managed to get through or is everyone pulled over at the moment? Well, nah, I think everyone sort of got, got pulled over. Yeah. Look at the line, bro. Is that from you guys? Yeah, I'll just saw all the traffic back up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're at, they must be just, yeah, just over there, yeah. Can you see? With cameras, fake oh, no. Nah. Are you guys, um, can you guys see the overpass from where you are? Or are you that, are you further back than that? Yeah, like uh, the overpass. Is the overpass. Yeah. I'm not sure, bro. Yeah, you're just you're you're not far from us, bro, at all. Yeah. 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 So they got like traffic um, control trucks like blocked off the highway and shit. All right. Okay. Well, just keep keep standing strong, bro, and keep doing what you guys are doing, and um, yeah, we'll be waiting here for you guys. All right. Everyone's starting to get a bit um, antsy. <laughs> Hey, what about if you just leave your cars there and start walking? <laughs> So that's uh, just what you heard from Wade uh, and our contact in the in the Hikui itself. It looks like that they have been stopped, and uh, it looks like they're so close, actually, so close to the border. Yeah. Man, we can smell you from here, bro. You're not far away. Oh, also, it just sounds like we're hoping it doesn't get too bad, but it does sound like some of them are getting a little bit antsy, as Wade's contact was saying. So, what we don't, we really don't want is something to go down. See if we get some good shots of that, bro. Oh, yeah, love this song. <laughs> oh, 
from the oh, yeah, they're, they're on this heat point. They're on this heat point because the big money pulled out to us and they need our support. Why are we going to go and celebrate the declaration of independence? <laughs> <laughs> we are one. Oh, sorry, Ray. Sorry about that. <laughs> this little operating very much such a hand. So So just to let you know, up there is where the command center is that the police have gotten. I find it a bit ironic. Again, I'm not saying this about the police, but I find it ironic that it is beneath a statue of one of the soldiers, a statue of a soldier who fought for New Zealand's freedom. It looks like the area has been blocked off by trucks. Also, it looks like the police are uh, moving. So they're in very much a standby mode. All good with the screen recording, all good, not a problem. Screen recording, share, you want. Eloise Green. So, ooh, that's a good question. How many, how many police would you say there are? <clears throat> oh, just in the station here, there's probably at least twenty, and then there's multiple police and defence force up on the overpass and up at the up at the right. tent at the probably about a four, five, yeah, even more up there. And then on the other pass. And then even the truck stop there. Yeah. And that's not even including how many police are there. So probably just on this side, there's probably, I don't know, 30, 40 at least. And then on the other side, there's got to be a lot more, I guess. That obviously begs the question, these police would be better served if they were somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's, there could be, and I would assume, especially on the, on the other side, because most of these police will have come up from Huntley yeah, and Hamilton, and uh, they could be responding to domestic violence, mm. they could be responding to burglaries. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Now that was a haka that was not done for a sporting match. It was not a haka done for. It was not done for a good time. It was not done for a birthday. We, we, those are beautiful and powerful. It was done from the heart being ripped open, shared out, and to stand up for freedom. That, that is what a haka is. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just stop this live here. Yeah, like Wade, I, I think we're going to copy Wade, so we're going to stop We're going to stop this way, but we are sticking around. All right, so we're not going away. We're still sticking around. Um, we're just going to – I'm going to jump back in. So if I see you, I'll see you. If not, if not, God bless you, and God bless New Zealand.